As a machinist, one of my least favorite activities is setting up fixtures and accessories. Scoring up a vise on a mill, tramming in the head, centering up a rotary table, all require the use of indicators, which can be fairly time consuming. And I don't know about you, but I'd rather spend that time making parts than staring at indicators. So uh, over the years I've come up with uh, various techniques to reduce the amount of time I spend staring at indicators. Uh, I did a video on one of them a while back how to indicate the vise on a milling machine in just one pass. And I had pretty good feedback on that one, so I thought I'd, I'd do another video and, and share a technique I use to align a rotary table on the milling machine. Uh, this one involves a little bit of uh, a special tool that I made up. Uh, There's not much to it. It's basically just a, a half-inch dowel pin pressed into a piece of brass. <clears throat> okay, then the uh, outer diameter of this brass is turned to a snug fit inside the, the bore on the rotary table. Um, this outer diameter is, has a little bit of a taper to it, about three thousandths over the length of it. Starts out uh, about the same size as the bore and expands up to a little larger, so when you drop it in, it, it snugs up and takes out all the play between the tool and the table. This is important because any play between the, between the tool and the table, or the bore of the table, is going gonna, is gonna to mean uh, misalignment. So if we want to get this thing as, as close as possible to the center line of the mill, we want all that play to be removed, hence the taper. Um, this one I just made out of a piece of brass I had on hand. I suppose if you wanted to make one a little more permanent, maybe a piece of steel might be better, or if you had the capability, even hardened and ground steel would be better yet. But this thing served me well. Works, it's worked well for a number of years. Um, so I'd like to share with you a little bit about, uh, about how I go about using this thing. Um, traditionally, to center up a rotary table, you'd first have to bolt the thing down to your, to your mill table, and you'd have to hang an indicator on the spindle, okay, and sweep, sweep around inside the bore of the table, adjusting your XY axis until the indicator reads true all the way around. Okay, so that's, that's a lot of fooling around. It's, can take some time. On a good day it might take you four or five minutes. On a, a bad day, which we all have on occasion, it might take you ten minutes. In my opinion, that's a lot of wasted time. So I came up, came up with this idea, and I, I think once you see how it's used, I think you'll agree it's, it's, it's a lot better method, and it takes a lot less time. So to use this thing, mount it in the uh, spindle. I use a collet. Uh, don't try to use a chuck because a chuck's not, again, concentricity is critical. A chuck's not that concentric. It's, a collet's much better. So just install it in a collet. Okay, then run, run your tool down until it goes into the bore of the rotary table. All the way down until it starts to snug up. Then bolt your table down. And just retract the, the tool, and we're done. Okay, the center line of this table is lined up right onto the center line of the axis of the spindle. Now, I know there, I'm sure there are critics out there that'll say, well, yeah, it's, that's pretty cool, it's a cool technique, but there's no way it can be as, as accurate as indicating the rotary table. So let's just throw an indicator on here and see how well we did. Let's uh, zero it out here, and then we'll zoom in so you guys can see what's going on a little bit. Let's see how well, see how well we lined it up. Okay, it's looking pretty good. I'm looking at about maybe a half thousandth total indicator runout all the way around. I think we're good to go. 